Hello folks, another quick one in here, because um, basically I want to send these ones off to a friend of mine, uh, and uh, yeah, get the reviews done in first. Uh, so here we have the HFC, um, it has some stupid number, HA118, uh, but as you can see, it's an M9. Um, so these things, I'll go into a little bit of a story here. Um, I worked at a shop on Seaside uh, a little while back, uh, mainly two turning guns, but now and again I was serving customers and they sold all the shit Galaxy Springers, as you'd expect in silly colours. Uh, and everyone who came in, they all looked at the Galaxy Springers and went, wow, wow, it's full metal. It's brilliant. Um, but I always told them not to buy them ones because they were shit. Um, much to the owner's disgust. I actually pointed them towards this gun here. And they, a lot of people used to take it and go, well, it's, it's all plastic. Well, yeah, the body's all plastic. But the guts of this gun are very sturdy, unlike the Galaxy guns, which are two minutes and they break. So, well, without ado, I'll show you the gun. So this is the gun that I picked up with a friend of mine. Um, so this particular model, um, I don't remember it quite as how this one is. Now, I remember the model that they used to have in the shop had more plastic parts, i.e. Your, your controls, like your takedown lever, the trigger bar, trigger, etc. I remember them, and hammer, I remember them being plastic. I could be wrong, I don't remember, but all the major controls on this, mag release, trigger, trigger bar, takedown lever, hammer, are all made out of metal. Um, possibly because it's easier to make metal look silver rather than silver finishing on plastic. Um, it's not like they're sort of expensive parts to cast and or they have to be expensively made. Uh, probably no more expensive than producing a piece of plastic than it is to do a monkey metal part. So yeah, that's that. Um, weight of this gun is, is pretty good. Not as uh, weighty as the, the previous uh, one I showed you, the ASG one, but still a very good weight for a spring pistol. Um, as said, the main body of this gun is all plastic. The grips are uh, sort of a fairly standard sort of M9 type, type grip, but kind of a bit shiny. Um, but we'll let that go. It's, it's a relatively cheap pistol, to be honest. Um, now, <clears throat> these particular guns, as standard, have no hop, they fire, I think I stuck some twos in this, in the, with the stat, when it had the standard barrel in, um, and it chucks a two, probably about eight metres or something like that, so not very good, and it sort of quite swiftly goes down from there. Um, so yeah, that's the standard barrel there, and the uh, you can't call it a hop exactly, but the the retainer for the for the BB, uh, so it doesn't just drop out the barrel. There. So I took the hop from a Galaxy pistol and stuck it in here. Uh, the Galaxy hops aren't much better, but it's better than no hop. Uh, now this thing is chucking twos. Reasonably okay-ish, about 20 metres, maybe a bit short of that. So, it's all good. Um, <clears throat> I'll have some BBs here, and I'll have some BBs in it. So, the action on this is just single action. It doesn't work double action like some of the M9s that I've shown you before. Uh, Magazine is a staggered feed. I think 
can't remember how many it takes in here. I think it's about 15 BBs that it takes in the feed. It doesn't say on the box. Uh, what are we counting up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'd say, yeah, about 15 BBs. Uh, reasonable bit of weight that I've added in the mag there as well. Um, so yeah, the um, controls on this, I said, are there's a lot of metal there. But going back to what I was saying earlier, the oh yeah, yeah, the the controls they are metal, and I forgot to mention the um, safety is the it's quite hard to put on there. Uh, is the slide stop as you'd find on the TM style model and UHC? Um, but it's, it's quite a stiff one. It is a, uh, a trigger blocking mechanism, Ooh. but it works quite quite well. Um, <clears throat> and it does also strip this gun. It strips as an M9 should. You push this little button this side and turn the take down, lever down. Uh, but once again, it doesn't just come off. You do actually have to remove the lever as well. Even though it has the indent piece, um, how like a prop one would function, um, you still have to take it out because it's looped through the trigger, it's a, a, not trigger, the barrel assembly. So going on to what we were saying about the internal of this gun, uh, you've got the majority of all the sear and everything and all the, the hammer and, and all that action in there is, is made out of metal. And one thing that you don't find with many guns at all You've got a metal spring guard on here and a metal piston. The actual um, piston outer, outside of the piston is, is plastic, but the actual piston piece is, is metal. So that's, uh, I don't know, um, I haven't found a, a harder spring to whack in one of these before now because the inner diameter of these metal pistons in these is smaller than, than a lot of the, the spring pistols that you get. But you could probably, if, if you'd find a stronger spring to whack in there, you could get it to have a, a fair amount of punch and the sears would probably quite happily take it. And you can um, obviously Pop the, the piston pops out fairly easy out of there and get all the barrel assembly out and everything which is what I've done with this one to swap the barrel over. So it, it's one that is, if you're into fiddling with things, it's, it is uh, fiddleable, shall we say. So back in and together. It is it isn't. It's a smooth cocking action on this this thing, um, but it, the the sound the sound of it, it it doesn't sound fantastic in the way the the action works. It's got quite quite a clunk. Oh, it's got bloody lenses in. Um, typical. Oh, I'll oh, be dangerous. You won't judge me while you're firing airsoft guns without goggles. Um, it's only a springer. So yeah, um, as I said, it is a little bit, it's all right on the cock action, but it, it's not super smooth. And, and when you actually fire it, it's not the smoothest sounding of guns, mainly I think because it is all, all metal parts in the mechanism. It just doesn't sound as, uh, nice as, as what some of the guns uh, do. So yeah, the HFC Heavyweight M9 or HA118, whatever you want to call it. 
as always thank you for watching and i'll see you all again soon cheers guys